Welcome everybody to what I think is going to be the final part of the quarry. It has been a ride, but now we are on part... I want to say seven. I think it's part seven. We're on chapter ten, though. And we're picking up from wherever Max left off, which I actually don't remember. It's been, I think, a week and a half-ish from when I last recorded a hole. What the fuck? Ooh. Why am I on top of a fucking tree? Oh, yes. Laura! It's because... Oh, wait, no. What? Yes, he's turning... He, oh, that this okay. Never mind. I'm dumb. I get it now. He just turned back from the monster, and now he's on the tree. Okay, yeah. Bastard I'm an answer. idiot. <sighs> Don't mind the smoke, by the way. There's an incense here. See? Where the hell am I? It's pretty cool. Where the hell are my clothes? Poor Max. He can't help it. He just got bit. You gotta be kidding me. I do gotta say something about this game. The okay. pacing between sections of the game is not right. Alright, we're finding Laura now. Why am I playing as Max? Just going to the Harbinger Motel. Max turns into bad guys. I shouldn't be able to play as the bad guy. But whatever. Alright. Um, I can't really see anything. Oh, fuck! Huh. Uh, I don't know what that was a video of. Did he kill her? She's dead? Just like that? J just like that, she's dead? No, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. There's no shot. I don't know where I'm walking, by the way. I have no idea. By the way, guys, if you guys are uh, new to my channel, you would understand that I'm an idiot and I don't know how to play video games. But I still try to make videos on how to play video games, which is quite odd considering that I can't even fucking play video games. Anyway, how are you guys doing? I know it's been a while since the last part of this, and I'm sorry for that. Um, I disconnected my PS5 for a while, and I just didn't want to hook it back up. I got no other excuses. We're here now. I'm here to crank her out until the end. That didn't sound right. I don't like how that sounded. I don't like how I said crank her out. <laughs> yep, still don't like it. So am I going to the back to the quarry? And I like how I'm wearing... <laughs> a, a, a crop sweater. Oh my god. You gotta put the hat on. Put it on, Max. Max, you know what? You're in a very serious situation right now, but you look very ridiculous. 
You're gonna make Dylan fall for you wearing that. I hope you know that. Oh, you probably don't even know who Dylan is. Alright. I'm not. I need to stay, dude. There's no way I'm gonna swim to shore. Cause if I swim to shore, I'm potentially putting everyone else in danger. The table. Help me. I mean, G's demanding much. Can't get much worse than it already is, right? Nope. Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. It's really that cold out? We're good now. It's the middle of summer. It's summer camp. Hypothermia. They're coming back first chance they get. I guess lake water is pretty cold. All right. We got to get a vantage point. Uh, a vantage point would mean upstairs. That's what I get from that sentence. That means upstairs at a window or some sort. I don't know. Some sort of thing to where I can stand and watch. This right here, a good vantage point. Never mind. This vantage point sucks. How long has this guy been here? A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> me too. By the way, any uh, fantastic oil painters, uh, make an oil painting of me making this face. Thanks. I want to hang that back there next to those posters. If anyone, seriously, if anyone can do that, seriously, I would very much so appreciate that. Just shoot me a DM. I'll even fucking pay for it. That'd be funny. I'm going to prepare for an attack. I'm going to... I'm gonna put that that clip in a Mr. Mustard out of context, just so people do that. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Love meets for life. We're proud to say, say. shout it straight and shout it loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words. Why, why did you just sing that? Oh shit. Damn. Sometimes this game just looks like real life. Holy crap. Showtime, motherfuckers. You don't need to say stuff like that. It's not funny, it's not cute, it's not funny. Jacob, ooh, he's had a rough night. Poor Jacob. Fuck this whole night. Boy, boy. I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. One more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. <gasps> big mistake, wasn't it, dumb fuck? <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> ah, 
shut up, you big baby. Wah, wah, wah. I mean, really, this guy. Come on, man. Man up. You're shirtless, walking around with your man tatas. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> what was that? Oh, shit. What the? Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, hi. Whoa. Okay, just casually look at each other, I guess. Wait, yeah, you can't make much noise. Oh shit. I assume I need to shoot. Bam, right there in the arm. Shoot it in the head. Come on, fucking. Oh, now we're running, okay. Now this is my jam. I like me a good chase scene. What can you do, Abby? <laughs> Nothing. Is that even her name or is it Audrey? I can't remember. Silver shells. If I can time this right. What was that face? A uh, beam. Beam. Uh, no, window. Window. Oh, that was close. I almost just died. Man, this is the slowest chase scene I've ever seen. Uh, hide. This fucking chase scene is like a snail riding on a tortoise's back in a NASCAR race. Like, what the fuck? fuck. Uh, sorry, shit. Ah, God, I bit my tongue while saying that, by the way. Ow. Ooh. I didn't know we were doing that again. Damn, Caitlyn has a, some stamina in her breath-holding ability. Holy moly. No, but he's gonna come back. Ooh, shit. I can't do anything. I couldn't do anything! Fucking God!
Um, what exactly happened six years ago, or how did you do it? Um, I don't want to. I don't want to accuse him of anything. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit! It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Like that. What kind of fucking shot was that? What kind of slow-mo smile, doodad? Oh shit, uh... Take the wheel. Travis! Travis, get it together, come on! Ooh, shit. Ooh, fuck. I got it, I got it, just get down! Man, it took you a while to get fucking back awake, Travis. <laughs> Got him. Run him the fuck over. Go! Where did he go? The shadow just disappeared. He's gotta be nearby. Let's look around. Are you crazy? He's not scared because none of them are going to hurt Travis. Travis's family. Well, no, Travis kind of backstabbed everybody. Oh, oh Ryan. Yet. You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Oh, I don't do good with blood. I'm squeamish. I'm squeamish. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Good self-control. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Yes, let's fucking do this. Let's fucking do this. Go team! Ryan's a comedic relief. Ha ha ha, dry guy! What, what the fuck does dry guy mean? What, what the fuck does dry guy mean? What the fuck? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't. I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. Hmm. All right, I'll take it. Thanks. 
That means a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah, no worries, I guess. Ugh, pungent. There had to have been enough for both. Whatever. Okay, R well, Ryan's dead. Can't do much about that. I fucked up. Whoops. Ryan's pretty dead. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. The hag. Hand. Silas's mother. Of Hackett. Corey. Who was she? Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scare. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. I don't want to be mean. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. That was aggressive. Doesn't really matter to me, though. I don't really care. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Ryan, don't go walking off. You're gonna die. Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. Same. <laughs> what a weirdo. Man, I am so down. I love these these long play chill videos with you guys. It's like I'm chill. I'm like I'm playing a game and I'm chilling with you guys. It's so cool. Freak show witch. That must be it. Careful. Why the subtitles disappear? Uh, 
Oh shit. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh my god. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! <laughs> yes, raised gun. Why did I get a trophy? Sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. I'm very sure. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Well, shit. What the fuck? The White Wolf? What is that? Killed Silas. Alright, well, she's gonna be very mad at me. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I, I tried am. to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Uh, not you look this. weird. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never. Ah, she's mad at me. She's very pissed. Is that really it? Oh, the morning! Dude, there's no way this is the end. Because, like, that's such a... Anticlimactic ending, low key. Like, don't you guys think so? A little bit. There needs to be a little more, right? Having survived the night, Max was cured of the werewolf curse when Ryan shot Chris Hackett with a silver shell. Emma was killed by the werewolf Max at the treehouse. Whoops. Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. No! Jed was massacred by his werewolf son, Chris. That sucks. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor, Ryan, shot him with silver. Laura shot Constance's face off in a struggle for the gun. Oh my gosh. Werewolf Nick was shot dead by Laura when she mistook him for Chris. Chris Hackett's daughter Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura who mistook her for Werewolf Chris. Having successfully avoided infection, Jacob was freed from Hackett's basement and survived the night. Good job, Jacob. Abigail made it to the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. That doesn't really sh tell me anything, though. Caitlin was killed when Caleb hunted her down in the dormitory. Whoops. Dylan hid in the classroom, surviving the night and avoiding infection. Yeah, but he cut his fucking hand off. Caleb Hackett returned to his human form permanently when Silas was killed. Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that haunted his family for six years. 
Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person who survived the night. Laura killed Silas, the dog boy, in his nest. The curse of Hackers Quarry is broken. Hello, cops. This would be such a weird situation to explain to the police. What? That's it? Is that really it? Are you serious? Summer camp tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several dead. What do you make of that, Anton? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just... They, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two... They're like one, two, three... Yeah, you know what? It's several. Several murders. You know, it might be a tactic, though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, Hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. This is very interesting. Like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton? Introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life, everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so... I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is... All right, I'm done with listening to this, but anyway, if you guys liked the, the quarry... Please drop a like on this video. I really am trying to push my channel out to new people so new people can watch me and all that stuff. Uh, the quarry was very cool. Trey, once again, coming with a banger. I'm, I'm sorry, I cannot talk over these people. I'm getting off topic. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys want to see more of the quarry or have missed parts, the playlist will pop up right here and right here. Um, uh, again, very good game. Uh, I really enjoyed the story. I personally think I enjoyed Until Dawn more, but this game is visually better. The, but the story and gameplay of Until Dawn was much better, in my opinion. But anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching once again. Um, new merch in the store soon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good. Bye.